Hello everybody, I'm Dan Herring. Welcome back to my channel, Fish Dan 365 and welcome back to Top Water Tuesday! One of my favorite segments. And do you know that this week marks the one year anniversary since we've been doing Top Water Tuesdays, so it only seems appropriate that I do my favorite Top Water lure of all time, the Norman Top Dollar. Okay, so let's talk about it. You guys who follow my channel for a long time know that this is my favorite topwater lure of all time. I think it's the most innovative lure that's ever been made, and unfortunately, it's not in production anymore. I don't think it's sold as well as Norman hoped that it would, but the, whoever created this bait had some really good ideas because the bait really works. I still have the first one that I bought. I bought this at a tackle store. I'm not sure where anymore. It may have been Susquehanna Tackle. It was years ago. And uh, if you take a look at this one, you'll see it's all beat up. Some of the paint's missing and everything. It's the first one I ever bought. I've lost several of them, but I have never lost this one, and it has caught me a lot of fish. So I, I use this on special occasions. I use this when I know I need a fish, and uh, <laughs> when I'm not likely to lose it because I don't want to lose it. But I have a ton more here. You know, when, it, when, uh, when I decided how much I like this bait, I started looking for them everywhere. And this is before they were off the shelves in most of the tackle stores. Now they're very hard to find. And then I think there was uh, on, uh, on eBay, I think it was Simmons Tackle or something like that. They were selling two or three of these every week. And uh, I kept picking them up. And at first they were maybe 10 bucks, then 12 bucks. Then they were going up in 15 bucks. And, but I kept picking them up and buying them, and so I have a, a really good supply of them that uh, I won't run out of them in my lifetime, that's for sure. And But now I see some on eBay, $65, $75, $85, this kind of thing. I don't know if they're still going for that price, but I saw some <laughs> that high at one time. Crazy. I might have something to do with that. I don't know. I don't know if this channel is that big or not, but I may have something to do with getting that price going up a little bit on eBay. I hope not. So... Uh, so just to go over some of the different colors here, this one that I showed you, the one that I bought first, one of my favorite colors, it's called Clear Nutter Shad. And they got a red ear that has a sunfish uh, pattern to it, very nice. And then a lot of these are just variations. Uh, this is a, uh, I believe this is a Nutter Shad color, not, no clear. This one's a sexy one because it's got some glitter on it. Here's a clear sexy because it's got the glitter and the and the yellow stripe, and and then this one's a gold one, got got gold foil on it with the yellow. There's other colors as well. I might even have a few of them. Oh, I don't know if I showed this one. This one's got pink on it. This is like a pink sexy shad. So there's a lot of different colors. I saw one on eBay that I almost bought about I don't know two months ago. It was one that was uh, just a dark blue back and clear body. I never saw one that color before clear body, dark blue back, but they wanted a little more than I was willing to spend. And then when I did decide I might still want it, it was gone. So, uh, but if I find that color again, I'd like to buy it. I don't have that color and I think it's a good color. So let's talk about why this lure, why I think this lure is unique and special and, and why I like it so much. So the first thing is, you'll notice how thin the bait is across the back. It's extremely thin. It's it's built like a shad or a sunfish really is built. These other lures that we have that, that are cigar shaped and more round, they catch fish and they, they look good in the water, but they don't have this natural look. They don't have the bait fish shape like this has. It, except for the head, this thing has the perfect bait fish shape to it. Not too, not too big, not too round. And then this head is a really unique, interesting design. It's probably maybe what turned people off. But boy, it allows you to walk the dog with it at different speeds. It allows you to make the lure spit. You can make a popper out of this lure as well. It just does so much. And then the eyes are realistic on top of it. If you know how to work this lure, you're gonna catch fish. And even if you don't know how to work the lure, one of the better ways to throw fish this thing is just to throw it out there and just let it sit, let it float on the surface. It looks like a real, and it, you know, if, it, if, it's, if there's a little ripple or something and it's moving like it's hurt, it looks just like a shad up there, or a little sunfish. So, I mean, the thing is, it's just a great, great bait from my point of view. One of my most memorable catches was a striper at Lake Wall Paul Pack. 
in the intro to this video, I have that on there. If you look at when the stripe takes place, the striper comes completely out of the water. It's on the corner of the, of the video. It comes completely out of the water, just going nuts over this thing. And that's one other reason why it's one of my favorite top waters. I catch everything on it. Catches uh, striper, hybrid striper, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass go crazy for it. I've caught other species as well. Uh, channel catfish, believe it or not, when they're on that alewife bite. Uh, crappy, rock bass, you name it, they're all eating this thing. I, I just, if I had one wish, I like this size because it matches a lot of the bait fish that I, that I uh, see out in the waters that I fish, but there's some lakes that have a little bit larger size. I sure wish they made one that was an inch longer. Same shape, everything else being exactly the same uh, per an inch longer. That would be a really killer bait as well because it'd just be a little bit of a bigger meal, a bigger profile for some of those bigger fish, especially those big stripers. But this is, a, I'm happy to have this, believe me, this is a great lure. If you have the bait, fish it, you won't be sorry. It does catch fish. Like I said, you can't fish it wrong, but it does help to learn how to fish it, uh, to do different things with it. And the best way to do that is just get it out there, throw it out and start experimenting and see how it works. Cause you can make it do a lot of things. Like I said, you can make a walk dog, you can make it go real tight. You can uh, you can make it uh, spit, splash because of the, the head design there. I like to use a real little snap, the tiny number one or zero one snap, or what it, I'm not quite sure which size it is, but it's really, really small. I've showed it in other videos. If you have an interest in it, just send me a comment and I'll make sure that I show it in another video. But uh, a small snap, if you don't have that, I'd tie a loop knot because that, that allows the bait to work uh, well, uh, better as well. So I use this on a top water rod. It's meant for twitching. It's a top water twitching rod. I like 20 pound braided line, uh, spider wire braid, and then I use generally a 17 pound test monofilament leader uh, on this bait. It's a, you know, it's funny. It's a wide angle bait. You know, it has that wide body, but it casts fairly nicely. I mean, there's other lures that cast better, but it doesn't cast bad. You can throw this pretty accurately and you can throw it pretty far on a twitching topwater bait caster, which is what I like to throw this on. And, uh, you know, it catches fish. I just get excited thinking about it. I can't wait to get out and fish it again this year, come this spring. Now, looking at all these lures that I have here, I, I noticed that I don't have any tail feathers on them. And I do fish them with tail feathers, but not always. And the difference for me is, I, when I know that I'm going to be retrieving this thing in a constant fashion, in other words, walking the dog by twitching the rod, back and forth and I'm going to be doing that even if it's slow even if it's that cadence I don't bother with a tail feather because I, I don't think that the bait is so natural looking I don't think it needs it but when I want to go one two three it stop one two stop I think that tail feather could help because it's it's it could be undul it's undulating a little bit under the water it just makes it look that much more like a real fish and when I'm looking here I notice that there's no tail feathers on these and it's because I think I gave one to my son that had a tail feather and I lost one with a tail feather and I need to buy some more feathers. But what I'll do is in an upcoming Topwater video, Topwater Tuesday video, we'll show you uh, how I tie the tail feathers. It's real easy. I'm not, a, I'm not a fly tire by any means, but it's easy to do the tail feathers. So we'll show you how we do that because it is good to have them on these and other Topwaters as well. Well, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I like this lure. Can't wait to get out in the water again with it. Comment it. Let me know what you think of the top dollar. If you have any experience with it, good or bad, I'd love to hear it. Be safe out there. And as always, may God bless your fishing endeavors.